do a quick example of this. First, let's talk about the converse. So once I have uh, given a hat, b hat, how do I get? Um, I want basically what I want to do then is I want to express my original vectors a and b as linear combinations of a hat, b hat. So in other words, a is equal to a alpha a hat plus beta b hat. How do I get alpha and beta? How do I get alpha? So alpha is the component of A in the direction of A hat. So how would I get that? So you just multiply it by uh, A hat and that will get rid of the B component. Yeah, you take the, the dot product. Yeah, dot product. Yeah. So actually, that's easy to see from here. A dot A hat dot product distributes over addition, so that I get alpha a hat dot a hat plus beta b hat dot a hat. So z and a are orthogonal, so that's zero. And a dot a is what? One. It's one because these are, uh, this is orthonormal. Uh, so therefore, a dot a hat And similarly, how do I get beta? Beta. Yeah, I just dot it with b hat. So in other words, uh, a is equal to a dot a hat uh, a hat plus b dot b hat b hat. Excuse me, a dot b hat. And b b dot a hat, a hat, plus b dot b hat, b hat. Okay, bear this in mind. It's interesting that in order to pick off those components, I'm taking dot products. So we'll come back to this. Think about the dot product operation. Uh, remember that basically what you do is you're taking each component of, um, you're taking each component of B, uh, excuse me, each component of the vector, multiplying them together and adding them. So we've seen that operation before. We called it something different, but just, just remember this for a second. Let's do a quick example of orthonormalization. Basically, what we're doing there is we're saying uh, B prime is equal to B 
B minus B dot A hat. So firstly, let's say um, B minus, excuse me, there's an error here, uh, B minus B dot A hat times A hat. This is just a scalar, not a vector. So in order to subtract that from a vector, it needs to be a vector. So in fact, we're subtracting the component of A hat in this direction. So it has to be something times A hat. OK, what's B dot A hat? That's equal to, um, what's that equal to? It's 2. So it's uh, 2 comma 4 dot uh, 1 comma 0, which is 2 times 1 plus 4 times 0, which is 2. This is equal to 2 comma 4 minus 2 times a hat, which is 1 comma 0, which is 2 comma 4 minus 2 comma 0, which is 0 comma 0. Finally, normalize uh, B prime, and obviously the result is 0, 1. So our orthonormal basis is now A hat, which is 1, 0, and B hat, which is 0, 1. So is that the only possible two dimensional orthonormal basis? Start with uh, I could start with A or B, or I could start with any linear combination of A and B. So there's no there's no um, there's no uh, restriction on the starting place, and so therefore there's an infinite number of orthonormal bases. But okay, so let's turn our attention back here. 